Hello and welcome to this short tutorial where I'm going to show you how to create a very simple chase game in Scratch. And you can see the game here, chasing different bugs, catching each bug and getting a point for each bug that you catch. OK, so how do we do that? OK, well, create yourself a new game, um, a new Scratch project and then choose yourself a character. I'm going to choose a, uh, a red orange. That's what I'm going to do. And the first thing we have to do is program our um, sprite to move. So um, there are different ways to make it move. A lot of people just go for the very simple um, changing Y. So if you see here, if I click the up arrow, it will make my orange move up. OK, but you can see there it's a little bit juttery. OK, so this is a very simple way to make a character move. Um, but a much better way is to do it like this. So you need to get the forever. You need to get the if. OK, let me go down to the touching. Sorry. If the up key is pressed and then we go back to the uh, get the Y. OK, now you'll see. When I press it, it moves a lot more smoothly. There we go. Now, the good thing about Scratch is that it's very easy to duplicate code. So obviously, I need this for the four arrow keys, up, down, left, and right. So I'm going to click on here and duplicate. Okay, and then I just change it to the down key, down arrow, down arrow, and it would need to be minus Y because we're going down. Minus Y. Okay, and then to go left and right. Duplicate it again. Okay, you can also use Control and um, Control and C and Control and V as well. So right arrow, right arrow. But this time we're changing the X axis, not the Y axis. Okay. And then again, I'm going to do Control and V, and this is the left arrow, left arrow left arrow and this would be minus 10 okay so let's have a look looks like we've got our character moving now yeah there we go moving nice and smoothly okay now what we're going to do is we're going to add some sprites for us to catch um, I'm going to use some bugs so I have a beetle I'll just get three for this practice run no, not that one. A crab. And oh, a flying hippo. Fantastic. Okay, you can move those to different areas. Now they're all a little bit big at the moment. So the way to make a sprite smaller is to click on the sprite and then click on size. So I think I want it about 40% of the size. Yeah, perfect. I'll do them all 40%. Perfect. OK, now what I want to do is, um, again, like I said, it's quite good with Scratch. If you code one character, you can then just share the code. So I'm going to go ahead and just do one first. So first of all, when the flag is clicked, so when I start the game, I'm going to move it to a random position. OK. And then um, forever. If touching, okay, I'm going to do this on a different one so it's not. So if the beetle is touching the orange, okay, touching the orange, okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give it, um, I'm going to make it move to a random place. Before it does that, I'm going to have it say something. So you can say ouch, or you can say wow. I'm going to say ouch. Whatever you want to say. Okay, for one second, I move to a random position. Okay, so let's see if that works now. Okay, so go over to my beetle, touch it. Okay, I hadn't pressed the green key yet. Ouch. Okay, and then it moves. Okay. Ouch. Okay, good. Now I can use the same code 
for the other characters. So basically what I do is just drag the code over there, over to the crab, and you can see it like vibrate a little bit there. That means the code is on the crab. And I'm gonna move it over there to the hippo as well. Okay, and you can see there the codes in the hippo. So you create the code once and then you can share it three times. So here we have a very kind of fun and simple game. Okay, and every time I touch them, every time I catch them, they move to another area, okay? Now one way or two ways to make this game a little bit more fun, a little bit more competitive, uh, and that is you can add points and you can also add a timer. So you can add a, a one minute timer and see how many points you can catch within one minute. 